All right, and get this to focus, if it will, I don't know. I'm gonna show y'all guys some fun ways to feed praying mantis. This is my brand new mantis. He is a budwing mantis. Oh, I shouldn't have moved, I went out of focus. And they can always just hunt for their own food. They're perfectly capable of doing that. But I kind of have some fun feeding him. So what I do is I get some fruit flies and I prop it up in a way that he can get it. Hold on. And he got it. At this age, all they eat are fruit flies. They're too small to eat anything else. When they get older, they'll eat crickets, but for this age, all they need is fruit flies because as you can tell, he's very tiny. This is just his temporary enclosure. Just literally a big cup with some stuff in it. It's very, very temporary. It's just so he can get his food when he's a baby, effectively. Here you go, babe. And this right here, it's not gonna go up here near the window, but this is gonna be his next size up when he starts growing. In this enclosure, he's gonna go to this enclosure. I still have to work on it a little. I'm gonna drill some holes in the top, put some mesh over it, things like that to make it more ventilated for him. That's gonna be his next enclosure, and then when he gets really large, I still need to purchase him that enclosure. I don't have that one yet. These are his two first um, tanks. They grow really fast, so that's why I already have the second one here and I need to start preparing it. Okay, for the second part of the video, people really want to see me feed my lionfish. Um, people just keep asking about it, so I'm gonna do it. Um, if this tank looks dirty to you, it's because it is. I'm doing a water change right now, so please, before you send me that hate, I'm cleaning it. Also, before you send me the hate for having clownfish and tiny little fish in my lionfish tank, he's a dwarf fuzzy, he's really small right now, and at this age, he does not he doesn't have a big enough mouth to eat anything in this tank. And they're only in here for a very, very small amount of time. I am working on getting a new tank, so please, please know that my lionfish is not going to terrorize this whole tank. He's only in here for a short amount of time. Or he's actually in here forever. This is his tank. But these guys are in here for a short amount of time. One door fuzzy in a 30 gallon tank is perfectly fine. He doesn't need a bigger tank since he is so small and not someone who needs a lot of space. He doesn't move around a lot. It's more of he just sits and waits and comes out and attacks when there's, you know, prey and stuff like that. So it's okay that he's in a smaller tank. He's not like the bigger species of lionfish. He's one of the smaller ones. He'll get to be about eight inches, so that's still big, but not too big to be alone in this tank. So, okay. For feeding, what I do is I get a cup of my water from my tank, and then I close my tank, and then I put this up here. So the food that I've been using lately is Rod's food. Do 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 do. Oh, it won't focus. Okay, that's too bright. This is a really, really, really good brand for my lionfish. He absolutely loves this stuff, and he has been growing so much faster once I when I started feeding him this stuff. There was a significant growth that you can, you could actually, you know, see him grow instead of the super, super, super slow process where it barely looks like he ever changes his size. When I started feeding him this, he definitely bulked up. If I could zoom in. Did y'all hear that noise? My camera's broken. I need to go get it fixed. Anyway, he loves this stuff so much. And so I'm gonna show y'all how I feed him. I'm really not afraid to feed him with my hands. He's really not aggressive towards me. Um, he's just not a human, you know, hand aggressive thing like that. He's not like that. Um, some lionfish are more aggressive than others. You kind of got to be careful because they do have those venomous spines on the back of them. But um, I've never had issues with him. I've had him for over six months now and there's never been any issue with hand feeding. I don't have to worry about him when I'm cleaning the tank. He just does not he's not aggressive towards me. Um, for bigger species of lion, you probably want to use tongs to feed, you don't want to use your hands, but I'm just not nervous. Also because I can't find my tongs right now, so that's why I'm doing this actually, is because I have no clue where my tongs went, and I'm not about to search for them everywhere, just for this. Aside from all that, yes I do use tongs sometimes, but not today. So now I just wait for this stuff to defrost, 
and then I feed him. Also, when I do turn this into a lionfish only tank, all the corals will be coming out too. He's not gonna be with any of them. He doesn't really bother the corals, but the problem is, is he sits on them. Like, he'll come up to this uh, frag rack and literally just sit right on top of all the corals. I'm gonna go ahead and see if he'll come out. He's normally pretty good at noticing when it's time to eat. Oh, well instead of my any of my fish getting it, or my lionfish, my Duncan got it. So, he might be a little upset about that. Let's try that again. Seriously? Really, dude? Okay, I really need to get some tongs out. <laughs> hand feeding is not going too well. Only because I can't put my hand all the way in there. That looks like a big chunk of krill, but we'll see if he gets that one. Dude, it's over there. Now I really need to clean this tank, because you're getting all this uneaten crap. Granted, he did eat a lot earlier. Oh, there we go. He had, I already fed him this stuff earlier, so that's why he wasn't so food aggressive because he had already eaten this earlier today, so he had already had a good meal. Now he's just gotta chew it up, which is what he's doing. <laughs> 